Magandang araw. Ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay tungkol sa kung paano tayo makagawa ng isang equation sa given problem na may kaugnayan sa parabola. Tara, let us have this example. Kunyari, we are going to find the equation of the parabola that has a minimum at negative 1 and positive 3 and passes through the points 1 and 4. Then, graph. So, dalawa ang problem natin. Ahanapin natin yung equation. Ang kasunod po is we're going to find for or we're going to graph the given problem. Ayon sa problem, meron tayo ditong isang pananda para malaman po natin kung ano ang ating gagawin. Meron tayong word na minimum. Ang ibig sabihin nun, yun po yung kanyang center ng parabola. Sa mga katuwid, kung yun po yung center ng parabola, siya po is nasa center ng H and K. Wala po sa origin yung problem. So, yun ka agad ang una natin gagawin. Ahanapin natin yung center. That is negative 3 and uh, negative 1 and positive 3. At unang hakbang is gagawa po tayo ng quadrant. Of course, it has A, X and Y. Then, locate natin yung points negative 1 and positive 3. At ito po yun. Next po natin na gagawin is of course to locate also the next point na given. Kasi meron ng dalawang given point. Yun po yung 1 and 4. At yun yung point na magbibigay sa atin ng guide kung paano natin maiga graph or masasolve ang isang equation. So let's find out. So, yung point na yun, that is 1 and 4. Yung 1 stand for x, yung y naman po stand for 4. Para makuha po natin at makagawa po tayo ng equation, kailangan po natin ng formula. So, it is quantity x minus h squared is equal to 4p quantity y minus k. At dito sa given uh, problem natin, Ang um, axis of symmetry natin is parallel to the x-axis. Parallel to the x-axis. Bakit kaya? So, kung ganito po ang ating possible problem, ibig sabihin nun, dapat alam po natin ang pwesto ng ating pong possible graph. <clears throat> Pero ano po ba ang tinatawag na axis of symmetry? Pag sinabi natin axis of symmetry, yun po yung line na humahati sa parabola into equal parts. <clears throat> At yun po yung line na humahati, balikan ko lang, into equal parts na kung saan dumadaan po siya doon sa kanyang vertex or, or origin. Ang vertex po kasi natin dito or, or origin ng parabola, yun po yung given natin na negative 1 at saka 3. At yun na rin po yung kanyang magiging H and K. Kasi po, ang center natin is at H and K. Ibig sabihin nun, wala po sa origin. So, that is the center of the parabola. And at the same time, doon dadaan yung axis of symmetry. Ang next natin na hakbang is to substitute the given information na kung saan ay gagamitin po natin yung formula sa taas kanina. So, paano po yun? We have x minus h squared equals to 4p quantity y minus k. Madali lamang po. Ito po ang ating magiging sunod na hakbang. Tanda natin na ang x natin is equals to 1, ang y natin is equals to 4. In that case, mas mabilis po natin magagampanan kung paano po natin gagawin ang ating mga kasunod na hakbang. So, substitute lamang po tayo. We have x, tandaan na ang x po natin is equals to 1, sa nagmula po yun. Dito po yung x natin. Then, ang ating pong y, ito po yun is equals to 4. Ito po yung y natin. And of course, our h is equals to negative 1. Ito po yun. At ang ating k is equals to positive 3. Substitute na natin kaagad. We have x is equals to 1. h is equals to negative 1. We have y is equals to 4. And k is equals to 3. Then we have now, to simplify both sides, Dito sa kaliwa at sa kasakanan, 
Multiply mo na natin yung sign. That is negative times negative. That is equals to positive. Then 1 times 1. That is equals to 1. Then 1 plus 1. That is equals to 2. Squared ng 2 is equals to 4. Then, dito sa kabila, subtract natin yung 4 at saka 3. That is equals to 1. Multiply natin yung 4p doon sa 1. Ang kanyang sagot is 4p. Divide natin both sides itong dalawa ng 4. Para makuha po natin yung value ng p. So, 4 divided by 4 is equals to 1. And 4p divided by 4 is equals to p. And therefore, ang atin pong p is equals to 1. Remember, na pag ang value ng p is greater than 0, ang atin pong graph is opens upward. Most probably, since ang ating p is 1, alam na po kagad natin ang ating graph is opens upward. So, madali na po. Gaano kahalaga ang P? Hindi rin po kasi natin uh, magagawa ang ating equations without finding the value of your P. At ito na po yan. Next natin gagawin is to find for the value of your equation. Now, to solve for that, ang um, sunod natin na hakbang ay substitute na lamang po tayo. We have X is equals to 1. Remember, pag equation po ang ating gagawin, ibig sabihin ang kanyang form ay ganito. So, hindi po natin papalitan yung x at saka y. Ang papalitan lamang po natin ay ang h, p, and k. And therefore, yung h natin is equal to negative 1, p is 1, k is negative 3, or 3 or r. Then, multiply natin. Negative times negative is positive. That is equals to 1 squared. That is equals to 4 times 1 that is equals to 4, and kopyahin na lamang po natin yung y and p. Ito na po ang ating equation ng given problem sa taas ng parabola. Kaya lang, how about the graph? So, ang graph natin ay may identify natin dahil po sa given expressions natin. Tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, napakahalaga po na makita natin, may plot po natin, yung pangalawang point. Kasi po, ito po yung kalahati ng graph natin ng parabola na hating-hati. Ibig sabihin nun, kung meron ditong dalawang hakbang papunta dun, dapat meron din po dito dalawang hakbang papunta dito. And therefore, ang graph natin ay nandyan po yung points. At, ang ating magiging possible graph now, since that is upward, ay upward at wide ang ating pong maging graph. And, ang ating pong equation is in a standard form already, that is equals to x plus 1 squared, which is equals to 4, quantity y minus 3 as your answer. Sana may natutunan kayo. Good luck and have a nice day.